<laughs> hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well um if you watch my tuesday vlog we just started combining um today is the went so the following day it's the wednesday and then you'll be seeing this on the friday hopefully if all goes to plan um so yesterday they did 15 acre of barley which has gone to full term so that's all been done. They've actually bailed that field as well, which I've missed because he came first thing um, this morning. So I've missed that. Um, and then they're now just doing the wheat and the crimping man's here crimping it as well. So I'll show you a bit about what uh, what's going on with that and the crimper. And I'll show you, I'm just about to show you the wheat um, before it goes into the crimp and then after it's been crimped. So you can see the difference. So the reason that we crimp it is um, it crushes the grain so that the cows can get the full amount of nutrients out of that grain if it goes So if a grain of wheat goes in the cow hole, it's gonna come out the other end hole and it's not gonna They've not gonna have um, gained anything from it. So that's what we did there um, It's got wheat in my crocs So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video guys if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's crack on Okay, so Let's have a look. Neil's just dropped um, a load off here. Um, right, so this is the wheat that Dad's collecting now to put into the crimper. I can hear him coming back, so I'm just going to move over here. Right, Dad just came to get another load. Anyway, he was just telling me that you want this sort of thing. So this is completely different to if you were taking your wheat full term um, because it is soft. And he said that you want it to be about 35 to 45% dry matter. Pretty sure that's what he said. And this is at 40% dry matter. Um, so yeah, he's happy with it. So that's good. I'll spin you around and then you can see. So yeah, this is, this is what it looks like before it goes into the crimper. Like this, and if I get a grain, like I was showing you yesterday with the difference between the barley and this, and the barley was really hard, that's because it was at full term. Whereas this isn't, this is going into the crimp machine, so it's we're not taking it full term, it's that bit sooner, so it is squishy. You see? Oh, like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a handful of this down to the crimper and show you the difference between before it's crimped and after it's been crimped. Follow dad down now. Jacob is um, on the quad bike today, so oh, he's actually there on his way up. So I'm on the old zebra because I'm charging the other bike because we're taking the back, the black Fido bike. Uh, we're taking that one to the game fair. Me and Sam are going off to the game fair this weekend. Well, tomorrow, and we're going with Tweedle. I don't know if you've heard of the game fair or anything, but um, oh, honestly, this is so hard to do on this and not the quad bike. Um, yeah, the game fair, it's a massive country show type thing. Uh, field sports, um, shooting, fishing, everything you can think of, that sort of thing. Trade stands, all of that. Sam goes down with Tweedle, which is his business, which is a online competition company. So we go down with that. I'm going down to help him. At, I think he's got about 16 staff helping him down there this weekend, which is cool. His mum and dad, and then like some friends of ours and that sort of thing. So it should be a really fun weekend. Um, why was I telling you that? Oh yeah, so we're going down this weekend. I think we are actually setting off tomorrow. So that's why I wanted to get all this vlogs and sort of like done now whilst I'm here, because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. And that's why I'm on the zebra. That was that was a very long explanation as to why I'm on the zebra and not the quad bike. The black bike, the Fido, that's getting charged because we're taking that with us. Because the game fair ground is absolutely huge. And if you need to get anywhere in a hurry, 
walking is not a vibe so i said to sam i was like why don't we take the bikes with us that'd be great for that sort of thing so that's what we're doing um so yeah anyway let's get back to crimping and head on back down and i'll show you before and after i've stuffed a bit of before wheat in my pocket <laughs> and we'll uh, go and get a bit of crimp stuff now so that the cow is going to be able to use the whole grain and get the nutrients out of it. So there's a little before and after. And then this, it's got your additive on it, so it has a really nice... Whoa, guys! Russell has a really nice um, smell to it. And also, it just that just preserves it and um, keeps it from going off, basically. So I've better clean that up. It's not ideal keeping it there, is it? So yeah, there's your before and after. Ben's just got in out with another load, so he's just going to go and tip that. Ben shades. I thought mine were bad when I borrowed Freddy's. He's, I think he's actually bought them. So, <laughs> although I do get a lot of hate on my sunglasses on YouTube, you guys do not like my big sunnies. But I love them. So, Sunnies. What? I'm just giving shade on your sunnies. Thank you. 
taking the headers off the combines and putting them on the trailers and then we're heading to what we call Sheila's, another field which is down the road so that's just what we're on with now and yeah we'll uh, get them putting the headers on and off oh yeah pretty rolled her yard eight yard <laughs> Um, with the headers on the combines because they're way too wide and they've got sharp spiky bits on them so yeah <laughs> right Ben's taking his to the next field this lad's gonna take his own strapping them on as well what should we do should we follow Ben Just said to Ben how these handles are red on. He said they're heated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? I didn't know that. Well, hell. Literally, my hands are red hot. I thought it was just overheating. Here they come. Just um, come to the next field, and I know this is right on the edge, so you can't really um, judge the whole field on that. But let me just show you these greener heads. Look at that, and how much softer. You see, so if the whole field was obviously green, which you wouldn't be combining then anyway, that's what your grain's looking like. Just that really bit more moisture in it. See. Someone wrote in the comments yesterday, it's like spot, um, squeezing a spot, which it is. I love squeezing spots. Oh, but yeah. So there's a few greener heads in here, but only the odd one. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, let's get this header on. And away he goes. this out of the way down there with them running on all the um on the wheat you know to put the headers back on and he was like yeah they'll pick it up no problem with the headers you see this bit that's been flattened but yeah he was like oh yeah they'll pick that up with them little tines they'll grab them in get out of his way and then he's ready to set off
<laughs> right, like I was saying, oh, telling you before about going to the game fair, we're just loading up the van while Sam is. I'm just helping him with this sofa, which I've cleaned. Is it clean enough? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a bit of dust on, but it'll do. There's a bit of horse hair on it. I've cleaned it with horse cleaner. This one's wiping, so that you. What with? We roll. I don't think he heard you. Say it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Sam's birthday today. Thanks, Benny. I love one. What's them on the front? They're love hearts on my phone case. Ooh, lovely. Pick your boogers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Sam's birthday today, guys. So, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> right. Should we lift him, Freddy? Yeah. Right, what's going on top? Uh, yeah. What's what? My, my oh yeah, yeah. What? Okay. Um, what's all that? Yeah. That's all that. That's done that because you were hammering it. Did not you? You made yeah. a right mess. Get on. Me get on? Yeah. Okay. Just, just, my get on, Evie get on. Yeah, come on then. Yeah. Wipe your face because you look all snotty. Not with your t shirt. <laughs> Are you going to tell them what you've done to your head? I like it. Yeah, what happened? But, uh, puppy. puppy pushed you over? Yeah. She's a silly puppy, isn't she? Yeah. You fall over her? Yeah. Right, come on, now your face is all. Um, so I've just been speaking to Tom again up at the crimper and he was saying that that crimper does about 25 ton per hour and he reckons they've done about 85 tons so far and from going off previous years we'd normally get I think it's around 280 ton in that clamp but um, we have put a bit of we missed drilling some because we had a bad winter and then also we've drilled the barley I think that's right so there might not be as much as that this time um but yeah they're, they're getting on well everything's going well so far so far so good um so yeah it's nearly milking time i'm gonna finish editing this video and then it's done and then it's up ready for friday because like i say i'm going to the game fair so i'm not going to be here and i probably won't have time when i'm there to actually do that because we're not going for the leisure we're going to work and it's full on so yeah this might be the end of this video if it is then thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't done already please don't forget to like and subscribe and um, we'll see you on the next one bye